In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the ultimate guide for starting NBA 2K23, my team. I know a lot of you guys are probably getting the game for Christmas. Maybe you're getting the game when it's on sale. So if you guys are loading up the game and want to know what you guys do first when you do get my team. So the first thing that I would focus on is going to be in the season agendas. And you want to go to the happy holiday set. Now, this is going to be the best way to start my team. Hands down, no question, is you guys want to focus on these happy holiday cards. As you guys can see, to get a Ruby Jalen Brown, all you guys, all you guys got to do is play a game. You don't have to win. It's on a certain game mode. You have to do no requirements, but just play a game and you'll get a very solid Ruby card in Jalen Brown. Next up, you got 10 rebounds in a game. You'll get the Tom Chambers and you guys can get any of these cards and we're already up to getting some free pink diamonds. All you guys got to do to get a free pink diamond Jerry Stackhouse is make four dunks in a game with a player five times and you will get a free pink diamond. You guys can come through these challenges in the happy holiday set and see what cards you guys want to go for. But honestly, if you finish all of these challenges and you just got the game, you can actually make a very good lineup besides point guards. It's a little bit weird that my team hasn't given us any point guards in the happy holiday set but we are going to get five more free 96 overall pink diamonds and then to end it and then to end it off we are going to get a free galaxy opal as you guys can see here once you do get all 15 players you will be able to lock in for the galaxy opal mystery player which could be a very good free card so you guys want to make sure you're not missing out on the happy holiday set get all these cards as you guys can see i got all of them already done obviously because i've been keeping up with them every single day but you guys i mean it really doesn't take that long to do like those challenges are going to be very easy for example to start it off and to get Jalen Brown, you can go in the triple threat offline and let's say you have your starter team, right? You can use your, you can use your two gold cards you get from the starter challenge and then use your Trey Young because that's all you need to have to get into a game. So where's Trey Young? I think it took Trey Young. Okay, yeah, mine's a Ruby. So if I go to Ruby Trey Young here, yours will be oh no, John Morant. Trey Young was last year. I'm thinking of 2K22, but yeah, for 2K23, it was John Morant, one of the best ones. I think it was like Jimmy Butler and Joel Embiid as well. So you can use your Emerald Jaw, go into a triple threat offline game. You can win or you can lose. Doesn't really matter. You'll get used to the game as well and start learning the mechanics i also do want to mention for the controller settings because i know a lot of people are going to be wondering this because it's new this year in my team the shot timing release timing so this year it's a little bit different i don't want to go too much into detail it's pretty self-explanatory though so if you have it on very early that means when you guys go to release the jump shot you're going to have to release it a lot earlier if you go to very late that means you're going to have to hold down the shoot button for a lot longer for late it's going to be you know a little bit holding the button down for longer and then for early in my opinion that's going to be the best shot time release time it's not going to be too fast like very early where you feel like you can't even like you're, you can't even time it properly because it's way too fast and early i think is the perfect timing because late is a little bit too slow you have to hold it down for super super long but honestly it really comes down to preference and what you guys you like more so honestly i would test out each one and see which one you like the best but for me and i would say most people early is going to be the best shot release timing so you guys want to make sure you guys use that it'll just help you guys out in every game mode you play at least find the one you're most comfortable with doesn't have to be early but i would at least recommend starting with that one because i do think it's the best so yeah like i said you guys going to triple that offline you don't even have to win just got to play a game and already you are going to get a free ruby jalen brown so next time you want to go into another triple that offline game now you can throw jalen brown in the lineup and then maybe go for your 10 rebounds with using a gold center or maybe some other centers you guys have but it's really easy challenges and it's definitely the first thing that i would focus on once you guys do first get the game while we're in the agenda screen i do want to talk about the level 40 and the beyond level 40 grind as well so xp and season three they've actually made it very easy to do so as you guys can see in tis the season you know 7500 xp points and there's just so much ways they're in xp like i've barely even touched it i'm already at 43,000. like i haven't really gone for xp and i'm already almost you know a third of the way there so i'd say xp is something that's very easy to do and you guys can get yourself a free galaxy opal now trey young i don't think is a very good point guard maybe if you guys want to use him because you like trey young in real life or you think it's fun to use a trey young card he's obviously not that bad for you guys just starting off but there's obviously gonna be a lot better point guards we'll talk about later in the video but xp is a great way to get centerpieces which we'll talk about trophy cases in a second probably one of the most confusing things but honestly one of the best things about my team this year and something you guys really want to know and then for mt you know 25,000 mt at level 38 you get hall of fame packs you get a diamond ben simmons you get more trophy case option packs ascension boards tokens you know shoe packs ascensions you get an amethyst jared allen who's one of one of the best budget centers in the game so overall guys i would make sure you guys are leveling up and getting your xp as fast as possible and then for the beyond level 40 once you guys complete all four steps after you get to level 40 then you have to do some challenges with trey young for example make 43 pointers with uh, level 40 trey young and you'll get this badge award pack and once you do these three challenges you will unlock season uh it's not season two step two and then once you complete these challenges you'll unlock step three step three is not available right now i think they're every friday a new step is available and then once you get to the january 6th on friday the opal sean kemp will be available and he'll basically be free 
All you guys got to do is get to level 40, get the Trey Young, do some of these challenges, and then you'll get, honestly, one of the best power forwards in the game, which will be the Galaxy Bush on Kemp, because he had a diamond card earlier in the my team this year, and he was a really, really good diamond card. So that Opal Sean Kemp is going to be an absolute freebie. So yeah, the second thing I'd focus on, guys, is just make sure you're getting your XP as possible, you know, as fast as possible, going for that beyond level 40 Sean Kemp card and the Trey Young as well. And you'll get some centerpieces, some trophy case pieces, and some MT tokens and Hall of Fame badges along the way. And then the third thing I want to talk about, which will probably take up most of this video, is going to be the trophy case grind. And you guys really want to focus on these trophy cases. Now, I'm not going to do a full in-depth breakdown of the trophy cases because that would literally take 20 minutes so i have multiple videos that i'll leave in the description down below to help you guys out with the trophy cases i got a really good you know tutorial going over all these different pieces how to get these done fast as possible and what every piece means and how to get every piece as well so like i said not going to go too in depth for it but i do want to just you know kind of mention it and just let you guys know that's what you want to strive for for example you want to go after this pink diamond james worthy you want to go after this pink diamond rust they're probably the two best pink diamond trophy case cards and the way that it works the easiest way that i can explain it is there is there's obviously going to be two conferences just like in the nba and then there's also going to be three divisions per conference so there's the atlantic the central and i'm pretty i don't really know my divisions that well but there's three in each conference so six divisions overall and if i go down to the awards section here you guys can see for the atlantic you can get the galaxy Opal patrick ewing you got to get barry nani kevin McHale, rj allen iverson and jeremy lynn then for the central you got to get jermaine o'neill rip hamilton big z DeRo uh, not the rose and De derrick rose and brandon jennings and then for the other one to get the galaxy but gilbert arenas you got to get alonzo morning antoine jameson tim hardaway richard lewis and then kyle corver once you get all of those ones done in the east so you've completed all of these ones so if i go to the trophy cases once you got every team completed then you will get your first dark matter and for the east it's going to be one of the best cards in the game and that is going to be for the dark matter dr j as you guys can see right here on the left once you get gilbert arenas jimmy butler and patrick ewing you will be able to get your free dark matter dr j who's honestly one of the best cards in my team and then once you get both the dark matters you get, you know, Anthony Davis, Chris Paul, Clyde Drexler, which are the Galaxy Bulls in the West. You will get the Dark Matter Tim Duncan. And then once you get Tim Duncan and Dr. J, you'll be able to get the Dark Matter Larry Bird who really isn't that good of a card, but Dr. J is really, really good. So if you guys are starting off, I would say focus on getting Anthony Davis, Jimmy Butler, and then going back to the East. That's, again, you got to watch the videos to understand what I'm saying. But what I would do first is try to go for the teams to get Jimmy Butler, which would be the Bulls, the uh, the Bulls, the Pistons, the Cavs, and the Pacers. Or sorry, yeah, that's those five, right? Is the Bulls, the Bucks, the Pacers, the Pistons, and the Cavs. And once you guys do get those five teams done, you'll get the Galaxy with Jimmy Butler. And then to get the Galaxy with Anthony Davis, it's to be the lakers the kings the clippers the suns and the warriors and then you will get the galaxy play anthony davis and after that i would go back to the east and then focus on getting dr j by completing all of the east teams so that's just kind of my quick rundown with the trophy cases i would definitely start to focus on those it's basically the main focal point of my team this year whether you like it or not that's kind of what you're supposed to grind for as you guys can see if i go into a game mode right you can see i'm going to get a clutch time trophy case pack right basically the whole mode you're trying to get centerpieces and you're trying to get trophy case pieces that go into those collections to get those galaxy opals the dark matters and the pink diamonds as well but like i said to fully understand what i'm talking about make sure you guys go watch those videos after you watch this one make sure you go watch those in the description down below it'll give you guys a full rundown and a better explanation but like i said you really really want to focus on these trophy case grinds they might add trophy case too but for now i'd be grinding these trophy case number one now talking about which game modes are the best ones to grind to start off with i would say honestly if you're just getting the game and you're one of a new my team player like you haven't really played that much my team or maybe you haven't played a my team since 2k 17 8 18, 19 i would say you really want to focus on offline shooting if you guys are just starting off is going to be a lot harder once you get used to it i don't think shooting's that hard this year but once you start off it is definitely going to be a lot harder so focus on the offline modes whether it's you know tt offline it's domination it's clutch i'm offline i wouldn't even really worried about you know the prizes and what you guys are grinding for i would say when you guys first get the game you just want to get used to it and then once you feel more comfortable you can go into a 5v5 setting like clutch time domination maybe hop into some online but i'd say first off unless you're you're an experienced my team player like let's say for example you play every year and you think you're pretty good at the game then yeah you can obviously start an online once you build up your team with the happy holiday cards but what i would do first off like i said guys get these happy holiday cards and then go into t2 offline just get used to the gameplay how it feels the shooting mechanics the defensive mechanics and just in general it obviously is still my team so it's still gonna be a basketball video game but it is a lot different of a my team this year the gameplay is a lot different in my opinion especially the shooting which is going to be a lot difficult a lot more difficult than you guys think when you do start the game off so going to these offline game modes, just get used to it. But once you guys start getting used to the game modes and you start getting used to the gameplay, I would say the first game modes you guys want to try to hop into are going to be clutch time online. 
I think it's a great mode to start off with. You're going to get a lot of stuff for the trophy case grind. You're going to get these trophy case option packs. You're going to get a ton of tokens, right? More trophy case option packs, more tokens. You're going to get a centerpiece at 50 wins, which if you guys don't know, is one of the most important pieces or maybe even the most, impor most important piece for the trophy case grind. So you guys want to make sure you're going after centerpieces, you know, more trophy case option packs, Hall of Fame badge packs, 350 tokens, which are going to be really, really nice to have. And then 50,000 MT at 90 wins. And then once you guys to get to 100, it's going to be another centerpiece as well. So I'd say once you guys get used to the game mode, I would try to build a five man lineup and go into the clutch time online game mode. For example, if you guys are just going through the happy holidays, you guys can honestly have a lineup with Jerry Stackhouse at the two at the three. You can probably run Mike Miller at the four. You probably want to go with a guy like maybe Jerome Kersey and then, you know, Aiden at the five. But I'd say for a budget lineup, a great power forward that you guys can get right away is going to be this Pokacheski from the ice set. He's only about what? 2.5 thousand MT maybe even a little bit lower and he's going to be a great power forward you guys can run with that lineup so i try to build you know a lineup with some budget cards some happy holiday cards and then go into clutch m online or clutch m offline if you guys are still getting used to the game mode but you still want to get some decent prizes i think clutch m offline is going to be a really good game mode to start with like i said your point guard you can go after a budget guy you know even a guy like you know anthony simmons dennis smith jr these really budget point guards are still going to be very very decent if you want to get a more expensive point guard right a guy like maybe marco fultz is actually a pretty decent start he's only about 3000 mt maybe a little bit cheaper he's going to be a really good starter point guard so you can go Fultz at the one you know michael cooper at the two or jerry stackhouse at the three you could go uh, mike miller at the four you can go pokacheski and then at the five go with that amethyst, uh, amethyst aiden and that's a very solid starting lineup to play clutch m offline or online as well and you guys should be able to get a lot of wins with that lineup and if you guys are wondering how to make MT, I'll just give you guys a quick pointers. I do I do have a video coming out later today talking about how to make MT going into a full breakdown, but just some quick tips, you know, kind of some pointers. The first thing you guys want to focus on are honestly going to be the badges. As you guys can see, once you start earning badges in the game, these do go for a lot. So for example, if you guys are getting gold badges, make sure you're selling them. For example, posterizer around 2000 MT. There's some that even go for crazy amounts like dream shake, uh, dream shake, maybe not going to be the most expensive, but there's some gold badges you know, that one right there is 3,500, but there's some that honestly go for sometimes, you know, 10 to 15,000 MT, sometimes even a little bit more. Agent three is going to be about 2,000 MT. So once you guys are earning badges along the way, make sure you guys are selling them. And that's going to be a great way to earn MT. Honestly, though, this guy, honestly, guys, though, this year, the game mode is really about just playing the game to earn MT tokens. It's really just play the game. There's not too much MT making methods, but I mean, quick selling some, you know, some of your stuff in your collection. Once you guys start getting playbooks, you can go through and just start quick selling these and get a decent amount of MT from just getting those playbooks, you know, those jerseys, right? The logos. It's just going to be a great way to make some starter MT to go ahead and get yourself a Marco Fultz, a Pokashevsky, whatever card you guys want to go for at the start. This is just going to be a great way to get yourself, you know, five to 10,000 MT to build kind of a budget lineup. So that's honestly the lineup I would build, guys. Like I said, Fultz at the one, Cooper at the two. You can go Jerry Stackhouse at the three, Mike Miller at the three, whatever you guys wanted to do. And then at the four, go Pokashevsky. And at the five, go DeAndre Aiden. That's a great great starting five that I do think you guys can have a lot of success with. So yeah, for making MT, there's not too many methods. I would say quick selling, you know, your historic logos, your playbooks, your arenas, you know, maybe even your basketballs, your core floors. That's going to be a great way to make some quick MT. Other than that, though, guys, that's pretty much it for how to start my team. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm definitely here to help. You know, if you guys have any questions about the game mode, making MT, how to start, which game modes to play, gameplay tips, anything about my team you guys can find on this channel. So I'd recommend drop a sub down below, turn on post notifications, scroll through the channel, and you guys can find a lot of informational stuff that I think will definitely help you guys out. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and sub down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.